Hey all, here are OS reviews. Even though voice recorders aren't exactly the most exciting or on the cutting edge side of tech anymore, today we're taking a look at a unit that has a pretty clean design and could be worth considering if you do need a dedicated product like this for recording notes or meetings. It's actually going to sell for just around 30 bucks and these days you can get a model that has about 32 gigs of built-in storage and interestingly this model also serves double duty as a mp3 player that can play back audio codecs like flash uh, or lossless audio tracks. So it's both a recorder that has noise reduction microphones as well as a music player, a separate button that you can use to begin recording with a click, and it's going to help you capture things more quickly. Claims to offer lossless recording, also has a built-in speaker as well so you can play back some of the tracks. It also has this uh, voice activated recording function so it will begin to record sound automatically if it is above a certain threshold. Up to 134 hours of audio Audio recording in the lowest resolution and we have just the specs reiterated on the edge compatible with any computer in terms of transferring the files out and then on the inside we have of course just the voice recorder itself accessories including a bundled pair of buds in the box there is a USB type C data and charging cable which is great and also just a quick user guide First impressions here being that this voice recorder is very well constructed. The entire front surface and also the base is made out of tempered glass and all of the frame here is made out of aluminum. So even though it's a really simple product by 2021, 22 standards, it actually is constructed like a modern smartphone or even a premium device in terms of how it feels. There's no plastic at all, which is impressive again for the price that they're selling this at. Now on the edge here, we do have all of the controls, including a power key, there's a menu button, a select play pause key, and the record and stop button that you can begin to activate at a click. And then on top here, we have the two microphones coming from the sides to pick up sound. Also, there's a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there for listening back to any recordings and music. And then on the left hand spine, you'll find access to a volume rocker and also skip tracks when you're listening to music. All the buttons themselves are very tactile and they're also made out of metal ergonomic in terms of holding it as you're recording things, although it still is going to be shorter than a traditional kind of pen, as you can see. Although it definitely looks pretty striking and interesting from afar, the display that they're using is a little bit on the small side. In fact, that might be the only slight compromise that maybe they could have pushed the screen further on the front. But at the same time, it's not bad. It is at least a pretty colorful IPS LCD screen and just shows very simple icons. Although because of the size, you aren't able to use this for doing functions like looking at images or video, not that you would really want to or need to on a voice recorder at the end of the day. But if you're comparing it with an MP4 player, that is one thing to keep in mind. Super basic, you can see also the time on the very top as well as the power percentage remaining. And then to cycle through things, we can tap on the controls on the edge here, such as the skip track, to go through the menu. Uh, so first one here we have is for music. Let's tap on the play key here and that will hop us inside of the interface. It almost reminds me of a feature phone from the early 2000s, which is really nostalgic and kind of cool in that weird retro way. But anyways, we have some of the MP3s, uh, as well as WMA formats, FLAC formats can all be read. It goes all the way up to 20, so this is the maximum at the moment. So it's not the loudest speaker in the world, it is just a mono unit at the end of the day, but not too shabby surprisingly, it gets uh, decent for something that is so small. Of course this model doesn't have built-in Bluetooth, so that is one more feature that maybe could have been useful to some folks if you want to use wireless buds, that's kind of out of the question, but using any standard headphones it will work just fine. And then the main menu just kind of loops around. So overall, super simple. Under settings, we are able to take a look at a few basic display and menu options like the brightness of the screen that can be adjusted. Set up the time and date, which will be the stamp of when you're recording something including the bitrate or the aforementioned resolution that you can set, even a scene option. So if you want to use it for a meeting, interview, teaching, or station, those can all be set up and probably just changes the sensitivity of the microphone a little bit. 
There's also a monitoring mode that you can turn on, which means that if you are recording and you have a pair of headphones plugged in, you'll be able to hear what the recording is sounding like in real time. Finally, you can also set up a threshold in terms of how long you want a recording to last, either infinite or a certain time, and then it will stop recording automatically. Let's do a sample voice recording now. If I just flick it here onto record, you can see the recording has automatically started, a very fast process because, again, nothing else is really happening or going on behind the scenes. The limited processor is all going towards working with this voice recorder mode. Turn the screen off by tapping on the power key once so it can save on power while it's recording and then tap again just to wake it up. So let's say we want to save this track. We can just flick it off. Here's a playback of the track. A few remarks here being that the quality is actually not shabby in terms of it can pick up your sound from pretty far away because there's two microphones on either sides and so even if you are a little bit further in the room it can still pick up that sound although if you're pressing on buttons it is a pretty loud interference to the recording so that is one thing to keep in mind. This is definitely best served when it comes to voices and notes I would say. Uh, if you're trying to use it for something like singing it's not quite good enough in terms of the quality in my opinion since it can distort a little bit at higher volumes but in terms of speech it still is clear enough Although some of these features increasingly are just found on our smartphones that we may already carry, again, having a dedicated device like this can definitely still be handy at times in cases where, again, the battery of something like this is going to last a little bit longer without any network or connectivity options, as well as the fact that you can just begin recording at a flick of a button. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.